Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a test on this fancy feast stove that was nailed using three 16 penny nails for the pot stand for a narrow pot like the Vargo Bot. Problem was when you put it on something like this, uh, the original one I should say, had a tomato paste can for a pot stand. So that ended up covering a good portion of the bottom of the pot. And I thought, and so did Colorado Camper, thought that maybe if we replace this part, well, Colorado said replacing it with the hardware cloth, but I had thought about replacing it with the three 16 penny nails like this, forming a tripod, that by taking away the center part that maybe more of the flames would hit the bottom of the pot turned out that didn't happen because of the way that the fancy feast stove is made there's carbon felt wicking around the outside edge so that's where the flames were and that's pretty much where they stayed um, at the height that this pot stand was at but then later on when I took the pot off and I raised it up some or rather I think I took it off completely and you could see that the flames came together into the center of the pot up about this high. So what I was thinking was maybe putting a, um, I don't know, longer penny nails or something in it. But then that looking at it, in this one I had put these vent holes around the outside edge too. I just thought it might help. But then looking at it, it looks like you can put the nails in three of the holes just like that. And it elevates the pot up to about a little more than two inches from you have that two inch space between the top of the stove and the bottom of the pot now this is kind of jerry rigged i don't know can you say that anymore but jury rigged i should say so this isn't something i would always use i'm just doing this i'm going to test it out today putting the pot on like so the two inch difference there if this seems to work, then I'll do something to reinforce these nails, maybe another layer of holes inside or something to keep it uh, from swiveling around. But let me get some water prepped, get some alcohol in here, and I'll be right back for a quick test. Okay, I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I have some ethanol in here. Again, I'm not measuring how much because I'm just worried about the boil time, not the... Uh, run out time. Nice thing about the fancy feast stove is you can light it with the pot on top. You can see the pot's a little wobbly. Again, this is just a test to see if it works. Don't do this at home. So there we got the 60 degrees and let's see how long this takes. There we are two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 106 degrees Fahrenheit not bad I think you can see from camera two how the flames go in towards the center and then back out uh, it's wobbling around because of my hand moving here but I'm not sure maybe this could be lower down just a little bit the or it's the pot I'm not sure but uh, it did go into the center like I thought it might so let's see how long this takes to get the two cups starting at 60 degrees to a boil. There we have six or 210. Sorry, 210 to 11. Come on. 212 in six minutes, 35 seconds. Okay, that's not really that much of a difference. Hmm. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, got to a boil in 6 minutes 35 seconds. On the previous test with the nails in the center hole forming a tripod, it took two cups of water 6 minutes and 42 seconds. When I had the original Fancy Feast stove, this one, this took 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So it's really kind of looking like Maybe the nail part just isn't worth the effort. I mean, this sticks out a little bit. You have to take care of it when you're packing it up. But 
this seemed to be about the fastest time of the three. Now there are a couple of things here that could have maybe messed up this time. The pot, if you saw it on there, was a little leaning because the nails aren't exactly uh, gauged there. There's nothing on the bottom of the burner to hold them in place. So if one's kicked out, then it makes the pot lean. And if you saw, the flames were coming up this side of the pot rather than hitting the middle and coming out everywhere. So it tells me that the pot was leaning kind of like that. Hmm. So, good idea maybe, but just doesn't make a big difference. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.